Today on Sham News, we cover an unusual story. A film student has had surgery performed in his eyes so he can see everything in a 2.4 to 1 ratio, like a modern camera. This is iDev. My most recent film, uh, Seminal Vanities, actually was quoted by my classmates as being quote unquote, pretty cringe. But what I realized was the problem with my films wasn't the production or the cinematography or the writing or the acting or any of that bullshit. It was actually the aspect ratio of my eyes. Most consumer grade cameras these days use a 16 by 9 ratio, which is commonly referred to as full screen. However, Stu's surgery now allows him to see in a more cinematic 2 by 4 aspect ratio to help view the world as he would behind a camera. See, what people were talking about when they said my films lack substance was that the aspect ratio is actually too narrow. With a much wider screen, like 241, I can not only fit more information onto the screen, but also fit more substance. So now, like, for example, like when I look at a stop sign, right, like to you, it looks like a normal stop sign. But when I look at it, like it looks like an album cover or some shit, you know, it looks really cool and kind of better than kind of what most people see. The procedure is simple. Drops are first applied to the cornea, so the eye will dilate. What follows is similar to a cataract surgery, but instead of normal lenses, an anamorphic lens once used by Lars van Trier is added instead, one specifically tuned to allow Stu to see in 2.4 by 1. I see life with a whole new flair now. <laughs> That's, a, that's an anamorphic joke, you have to be a film student to get that. But giving yourself up to art does come with some sacrifices. The structure of my eyes actually don't really allow for direct beams of light to enter, so what happens is it actually does this kind of like a lens flare effect. Uh, you know, it takes up like two thirds of my vision. The pain is um, uh, kind of excruciating, but you know, I always kind of say, you gotta suffer if you wanna make good art, as, as a teacher of mine like to say. The drawbacks of this surgery are not only physical, however, However, Stu says he's also encountered problems in his social life, and also problems with his schoolwork as well. My grades have actually dropped substantially since the surgery, but uh, I kind of think that's because of the jealousy or the fear of my talent. The state is thinking about taking my license away because I can't actually see the road unless I'm looking right down at it. But what they don't understand is I'm actually getting more information in my eyes, so I'm actually a better driver. And unfortunately, a lot of my classmates, and not only them, but my teachers also treat me differently, and it's uh, it's just out of jealousy. Why do you think they're jealous? Because <laughs> I've got my eyes on the prize. What does that mean, though? Stu would not elaborate any more when asked, so he set out to find one of Stu's former friends to learn what happened between the two of them. This is Ben White, a classmate of Stu's and his former friend. He gave us some insight into Stu's life. Stu was always an odd guy. His films were never good. The composition was awful. There were a lot of just shots of blank white walls and empty streets and sometimes people would talk. He called his films experimental, but I think they were just shit. Stu and I were both at a local film festival. I was there because I got selected. He was there to protest his film not getting selected. So like in the middle of my screening, he just started going around destroying digital cameras. And after that, that's when his eyes got retarded. After the surgery, his shots actually looked worse. He thought since he saw what the camera saw, he didn't need to change anything else. So the shots were always out of focus and the colors were always terrible. It wasn't much longer after that that Stu was failing all his classes and he actually flunked out of film school. I haven't talked to Stu since. The man who gave up his own sight to be a better filmmaker in the end failed. Perhaps it was because his vision was too narrow. Subscribe to BTB and comment what you'd like to see next.